Today, Mommy and Daddy had taken Caillou and Rosie on a very special trip to the zoo. Here we are. Caillou looked at the map of the zoo. He could see lots of pictures of all the different animals. Which animals do you want to go and see first, Caillou? Let's go and see the elephant. Great choice, Caillou. Where is it, Mommy? Caillou looked for the elephant, but he couldn't see it anywhere. <laughs> there it is! <laughs> Caillou liked the elephant. He especially liked the noise that it made. <laughs> Can we get a pet elephant? <laughs> I don't think we have room for an elephant at home, Caillou. They're much too big. Look! The mommy and the daddy lion are sleeping. Would you like me to take your picture, Caillou? Yes, please! Say cheese! Don't worry, Caillou. It's just a baby lion. I think he wants to play with you. <laughs> Roar! <laughs> I did it! Hi, I'm Linda. What's your name? I'm Caillou, and this is my sister Rosie. Hello, Caillou. Hello, Rosie. Would you like to come and feed the monkeys with me? Yes, please. <laughs> Caillou was very excited. He'd never fed a monkey before. These monkeys love to eat fruit and vegetables. Why don't you and Rosie put some on that rock for them? Look! They're eating it! Hey! My hat! Monkey! They also love to play. <laughs> Caillou, come down from that tree. We have to go home soon. I'm down here, Daddy. That's just a monkey. Oh, there you are, Caillou. Look what I found, Caillou. It's an elephant. This one is just the right size to come and live at home with us. Caillou had loved his day at the zoo, and he was very happy to have his very own elephant to take home. It was a very special day at Caillou's house because today was Mommy and Daddy's wedding anniversary. Caillou was helping Daddy make a special dinner to celebrate. Is it ready yet, Daddy? Almost, Caillou. Just a little while longer. Mmm, it smells yummy! Let's go into the garden, Caillou. We need to pick some vegetables to make a salad. Caillou looked at all the vegetables in the garden. There were lots to choose from. Which vegetables do we need, Daddy? First, we need a nice fresh head of lettuce. 
Can you see one? Caillou knew that a head of lettuce was round and had big green leaves. Here it is! I found it! Great job, Caillou! How about some juicy tomatoes? Right there! The little red ones! That's right! Okay, the last vegetable we need is a carrot. That's an easy one! Caillou knew that carrots were orange and pointy, but he couldn't see them anywhere. There are no carrots, Daddy! Look down here, Caillou. Carrots grow under the ground. See? Oh! That's where they were hiding! We'll need two carrots to make the salad. Can you pull out another one? I got it! <laughs> Great job, Caillou! That's everything we need. Let's go and see if Mommy needs any help. Mommy and Rosie were in the kitchen. Caillou was excited to show Mommy the carrot he had picked. Look, Mommy! A carrot! I pulled it out of the ground! It looks very tasty. It'll need washing before we can eat it, though. Do you want to help me set the table for our special dinner? Okay! Hold on a minute, Caillou. We have to wash our hands first. My hands are all messy! They're clean now! There we go. Much better. The fork goes on the left. Fork on the left. And the knife goes on the right. And the knife on the right! Nice job, Caillou! I'm all done making the salad, Caillou. Shall we go upstairs and get you changed into your nice clothes? Yay! Caillou liked dressing up in his nice clothes. They made him feel very important. Caillou had enjoyed the special dinner. Everything was so yummy. Happy anniversary! Oh! Thank you very much. What is an anniversary, Mommy? An anniversary is a day to celebrate something special. It's been another year since Daddy and I got married. Oh! Daddy had bought Mommy a shiny gold necklace. Caillou thought that it was very beautiful. So pretty, Mommy! Pretty! I think you and Rosie deserve extra big slices of cake for being so helpful today. Wow! That's the biggest piece of cake ever! Caillou had loved the special dinner, especially the cake. It was summer vacation, so Mommy and Daddy had taken Caillou and Rosie camping in the forest. Daddy had found them a beautiful spot right next to a lake. Here we are. Can I help? Sure, Caillou. With your help, we'll have the tent up in no time. Caillou was very excited. He really wanted to go and splash around in the lake. Look at the lake! Can we go and play in it? Soon, Caillou. First, we need to put our tent up. Caillou helped Daddy with the tent. It was his job to hand Daddy pegs so that the tent didn't blow away. Almost done. Just a few more pegs should do it. Here you go! Hey! Go away, you! Help! These bugs are after me, Daddy! Slow down, Caillou. You need to be careful around the tent. You could trip. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, Caillou. I think the bugs have gone now. Oops. How about you guys go and play by the lake while I put the tent back up? Caillou watched as Mommy skipped a stone across the lake. It bounced along the top of the water a few times before falling into the lake with a little plop. Wow! Magic! 
Caillou wanted to skip a stone too. He picked up a stone and threw it as hard as he could at the lake. It didn't work. How did you make it bounce, Mommy? <laughs> Here, let me show you. First, we need to find a nice, flat stone. Like this one? That's perfect. Now, try and throw it low and straight. I did it! Great job, Caillou. Froggy! <laughs> oh, look! Rosie's found a frog. We're frogs, Rosie! Ribbit! Ribbit! The frog likes the lake, too! Bye-bye, Froggy! What are you two doing? We're frogs! Ribbit! <laughs> wow, that sounds like fun. The tent is back up. Do you guys want to come to collect some firewood? Okay. Caillou found lots of good sticks in the forest. He counted each one as he walked along. One stick, two sticks, three sticks, four! Look, I found four already! That's a lot, Caillou. <laughs> Great job, team. Let's head back to camp. It'll be getting dark soon. Caillou was nice and warm by the campfire. Daddy was busy making them all some tasty roasted marshmallows. Are they ready yet? Not yet. The outside will turn light brown. Then you know it's ready. Not so close, Caillou. We have to be careful around the campfire. Otherwise, someone might get hurt. Sorry, Mommy. I wanted to see my marshmallow. Caillou saw that the marshmallow was turning a light brown color. They're ready now, Daddy! Don't eat it! It's mine! <laughs> I'm not going to eat it, Caillou. I'm just cooling it down a little. Hmm, it's all gooey inside. Wow, what was that? Was it a spaceship? That was a shooting star, Caillou. If you see a shooting star, it means you can make a wish. You have to keep your wish a secret, though. Otherwise, it might not come true. Caillou closed his eyes tight and made a wish. I did it! I made a secret wish! Well, I'm sure it'll come true, Caillou. Caillou didn't tell Mommy or Daddy, but Caillou had secretly wished for more marshmallows. His wish had come true already. Today, Caillou was having a play date with Clementine. They were playing king and queen of the castle. Hello, I am King Caillou. What's your name? I'm Queen Clementine. It's nice to meet you, King Caillou. What are all those boxes for, Daddy? Mr. Daniels down the street is moving house, so we're letting him borrow these boxes. Caillou thought that the boxes looked like big building blocks. I know. How about we build our own castle? That's a great idea, Caillou. You can be the king, and I can be the queen. I'm going to build the walls. I'm going to build the tower. Finished. Lower the drawbridge, Clem. Wow, this place is huge. Hello, Queen Clem. Hello, King Caillou. Shall we go to the top of the tower? We can see the whole kingdom from up there. Okay. so high up! From the top of the tower, King Caillou and Queen Clementine could see for miles around in every direction. It's 
so beautiful. This is the best kingdom ever. Let's go and sit on our thrones. As King Caillou and Queen Clementine entered the throne room, they were shocked to find that somebody was already sitting there. Hey, you can't sit there. Only a king or queen can sit on the throne. Me queen, me queen. Oh, <laughs> it's you, Rosie. Rosie, you can't be the queen. Clementine is the queen. It's okay, Rosie. You can be the princess. There. Pretty. Oh, no. The castle is under attack. It's a giant. Okay, playtime's over. We have to take these boxes to Mr. Daniels now. Oh, but we were playing king and queen. It's okay, King Caillou. I'll bring them back for you to play with once Mr. Daniels is finished with them. Yay! Caillou had loved being the king, and he couldn't wait to build another castle with his friends. Caillou and his friends were at the park. Caillou was very excited because today they were going to play soccer. Okay, everyone. Are we ready to play some soccer? We're ready, Grandpa. Are you going to be on our team? No, I'm going to be the referee. It's my job to make sure everyone plays by the rules and has fun. I'm going to score a hundred goals. You just might, Leo. But the most important thing is that we all play as a team. The first thing we need to do, though, is to warm up a little. Caillou was a little confused. Warm up? But it's not even cold. This is a different kind of warm up, Caillou. We do it to warm up our muscles. Look, copy what I do. First, we touch our toes. After that, we reach up to the sky. Then, we do a twist to the right and then a twist to the left. And then finally, we rotate our hips around like this. That's it, Rosie. We're warming up. Caillou thought warming up was lots of fun. There, finished. Now you're warmed up and ready to play. Let's go. Good luck, Caillou. Okay, everybody ready? Three, two, one. Caillou dribbled the ball down the field. He wanted to score a goal. Over here, Caillou. Pass to me. I'm open, Caillou. Caillou could hear Sarah and Leo calling, but he wanted to score a goal himself. Caillou was very unhappy. He was the one who was supposed to score. Come on, Caillou. Your teammates need you. It's not fair, Grandpa. I wanted to score a goal. Soccer is a team game, Caillou. You, Sarah, Leo, and Clementine have to work as a team and score a goal together. Watch, let me show you. Okay, Caillou, let's see if I can get the ball. Oh no, now Leo has the ball. You see, if you work together as a team, it makes it much easier. Caillou saw that they all had to work as a team. Okay, Grandpa, I think we're ready to play again now. Great! Caillou dribbled the ball towards the goal again. Pass, Caillou! Over 
here! Caillou stopped dribbling and passed the ball to Leo. Hooray! Hooray! Great job, guys! That was a great goal, Sarah! Thanks, Caillou! We all did it together! Caillou chased after the ball, but it was hard to catch. The other team was passing it around all over the place. Oh no! Great save, Clementine! Thanks! Clementine kicked the ball high into the air, and Caillou and Leo chased after it as fast as they could run. Get ready, Caillou! This was Caillou's chance. He took aim and kicked the soccer ball right into the goal. We did it! We scored another goal! Great job, team. That was a very good goal you scored, Caillou. It wasn't just me, Grandpa. We all had to work as a team. <laughs> okay, team. Ready to go again? Yeah! Grandpa looked around for the ball, but he couldn't see it. Hey, has anyone seen the soccer ball? <laughs> Rosie, come back! Caillou was very happy to have scored a goal, but was even happier to be in a team with all his friends. <laughs> Caillou is going swimming with Mommy and Daddy. Here we are, Caillou. Are you ready to practice your swimming? Caillou checked that he was wearing both his armbands. They would help him stay afloat. Yep. Caillou looked around and was very excited to see a slide leading right into the pool. Look, Mommy, a slide! Wait, Caillou! Caillou, you mustn't run at the pool. It can be very wet and you could slip and fall down. Look here. See, rule number one, no running. Caillou wanted to be safe at the pool. Sorry, I just wanted to see the slide. It's okay, Caillou. Now, let's take a look. Caillou climbed up the ladder and sat at the top of the slide. Come on, Caillou! I'll be right here to catch you when you land in the pool. Caillou looked down at Mommy in the pool, but now he was up here, it looked an awfully long way to the bottom. I got too scared. It was a lot higher than I thought it would be. Never mind, Caillou. Let's go into the pool from the shallow end. Caillou climbed down the ladder into the pool to join Daddy. That water was just the right height for him to stand on the bottom. Better? Much better. Look, Mommy, I'm swimming! Very good, Caillou. How about you try to swim to Daddy? Caillou swam towards Daddy. That's it, Caillou. Just a little further. I made it all by myself! You certainly did. Caillou watched as Mommy swam under the water. He was very impressed. Ta-da! Caillou wanted to try and swim underwater too, but his armbands wouldn't let him sink. Caillou, you can't go underwater with your armbands on. Shall I hold on to them for you? Caillou wasn't ready to take off his armbands just yet. It's okay. I'll go under the water <laughs> another day. <laughs> hey, no running! Hi there, what's your name? Caillou! Hi Caillou, I'm the lifeguard. My job is to make sure everyone is safe at the pool. If I see anyone being unsafe, I blow this whistle. I saw those children running over there. That's against the rules. That's right, and thank you for calling out to them. Caillou remembered what Daddy told him about running at the pool. If you run at the pool, you could slip and fall over. Exactly. Here. Now you can be a lifeguard too. But only blow it if you see someone breaking the rules, okay? 
Caillou felt very proud to be a lifeguard. Say, have you tried the water slide yet? It's lots of fun. I tried, but I got scared. It's okay to be scared, but a brave lifeguard like you has nothing to worry about. Well, I guess I could have another try. Great, and don't worry, I'll be watching to make sure nothing unexpected happens. Caillou climbed up the ladder once more. It still looked a long way down. I'm here, Caillou. Caillou was ready. He counted to three and then pushed himself down the slide. One, two, three! Oh, Caillou, you did it! What a brave lifeguard you are! That was amazing! Did you see the big splash I made? Can I do it again? Daddy, the pool rules said no grown-ups on the slide! Caillou was very happy. He would never be scared to go down the slide at the pool again. Caillou and Rosie had spent the whole morning shopping for groceries with Mommy and Daddy. So as a special treat, they had taken them to the toy store to buy one toy each to take home. Wow! Look how many toys there are, Rosie! Toys! Toys! Remember, just one toy each, okay? Look! Squishy balls! They just look like regular balls. What's so special about them? They're really cool! When you squeeze them, they change color. But you never know which color you're going to get! Yellow one! I want yellow one! Caillou could see that Rosie was still too little to reach the squishy balls by herself. Here you go, Rosie! Say thank you, Rosie. Thank you. Okay, are you ready? Three, two, one, squeeze! Wow, you were right, Caillou. They do change color. Is this the toy you want, Caillou? Caillou thought that the squishy balls were really fun, but he wanted to look at some other toys before he made up his mind. Maybe we should look around a bit more first. There might be something better over there. Caillou could see a girl playing with a toy he'd never seen before. Hi! What's that toy you're playing with? It's a fidget spinner. You hold it between your fingers and spin it. Once it's spinning, you can do cool tricks, like balance it on the end of your finger. Here, you try. Caillou took hold of the fidget spinner and spun it between his fingers. He could hear it making a little whizzing sound. Great! Now, try to balance it on one finger. Looks like you need some practice. Never mind, Caillou. Let's try again. Ready? I'm going to let go now. I'm doing it, Mommy! Look how it spins! It's like an airplane! Great job, Caillou. Caillou, come and look at this. It's a spaghetti-making machine. First, we have to choose a color for the spaghetti. But I spaghetti was always brown. This is special spaghetti. It can be any color we like. Caillou had never heard of different colored spaghetti before. Wow! Even blue? Of course! Yellow! Yellow! Thank you, Rosie. Now we can have multicolored spaghetti for dinner. Caillou watched as Daddy placed the blue and yellow dough inside the spaghetti machine. It's ready. All you have to do is press down on that lever. Wow! It really does make spaghetti! It looks delicious! <laughs> Sorry, Caillou. It's not real spaghetti. It's just for playing with. <laughs> What's the point? 
point of spaghetti if we can't eat it? Whoa! Did you see that? Hi there, I'm Jessie. Hi, I'm Caillou. I was trying to catch that truck, but it was too fast. Oh, you were very close. I almost crashed trying to escape you. So you were driving it. Can you teach me? You make the truck go forward by holding down that button there. And you turn it with those buttons there. Great job, but be careful. If you go too fast, it might crash. Whoops, I'm sorry. That's okay, you almost had it. I can help you. There you are, Caillou. You shouldn't run off like that. We didn't know where you were. Sorry. I was learning to drive the truck, but I crashed. Well, at least you're helping clean up the mess you made. Caillou could hear something rattling around inside the eggs. Hey! There's something in there! What is it? It's a surprise. Each egg has a different toy inside. And sometimes it even has sweets and stickers. Caillou thought that the surprise egg sounded amazing. Mommy, I want a surprise egg. <laughs> Good choice. I think Rosie has decided too. Okay, here I go. What surprise did you get, Caillou? I got some colorful sweets, some smiley stickers, and a toy truck! Amazing! Caillou was very happy with his surprise egg. Now he could practice driving at home. Today, Mommy had taken Caillou and Rosie to get their eyes tested at the optometrist's. Mommy, why do people wear glasses? Glasses have special lenses that help people see better. Do I need glasses? Well, that's why we're here, Caillou. The optometrist is going to do some tests on your eyes. Caillou didn't like the sound of having his eyes tested. Hi, you must be Caillou and Rosie. I'm the optometrist. My job is to test your eyes to see whether or not you need glasses. What kind of test? Don't worry, they're fun. Come inside and I'll show you. Why don't you take a seat, Caillou? What are those? These are a special pair of glasses we use to test your eyesight. If you're having trouble seeing, I can change the lenses like this. Whoa, everything looks fuzzy. What about now? Yeah, that's much better. Okay, Caillou, I'm going to show you some letters and I need you to tell me what they are. That's an A. Very good. Do you know any words that start with the letter A? Apple, that's a good one. What about this letter? That's a C for carrot. Excellent. Mommy says that carrots are good for my eyes. That's right. Eating fruit and vegetables is very important for keeping your eyes nice and healthy. Caillou thought the eye test was a lot of fun. Okay, Rosie, it's your turn now. Caillou could see that Rosie was looking a little nervous. Don't worry, Rosie. It's fun. Okay, Rosie. Can you tell me what this is a picture of? Woof, woof. Excellent. What about this one? Moo. That's right. 
Well, I think that's enough testing for now. Why don't you go and take a look at some glasses while I look at your results? Mommy, Caillou, and Rosie looked at all the different types of glasses. What about these ones? <laughs> Mommy, these ones are too big. I look silly. Well, what about these then? These are cool. They're like something a spaceman would wear. Great news, Caillou. You both did very well on your eye tests. You and Rosie don't need glasses. Aw, but I really like these glasses. Here you are. You can wear these whenever you like. Awesome! Thank you! Caillou was happy he had good eyesight. But he was even happier he was able to keep the spaceman glasses. It was a beautiful sunny day, so Mommy and Daddy had taken Caillou to the park to enjoy a picnic with his friends. This looks like a good spot to have our picnic. Here I come! Choo-choo! Oh, sorry, Caillou. I didn't see your train coming through. All aboard! Come on, Rosie! Hop on the train! Choo-choo! <laughs> chugga, 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 choo-choo! Oh, no! Look out! Uh-oh! Where's Rosie gone? <laughs> Again! I know! How about we all play a game of hide-and-seek? Yay! I love hide-and-seek! Let's play in pairs. I'll hide with Rosie. And Clementine, you can hide with Leo. Then, Caillou and Daddy can come and find us. Great idea! Come on, Leo. I know a great place we can hide. Let's go and find a good hiding spot, Rosie. Leo, Clementine, Mommy, and Rosie all hurried off to hide from Daddy and Caillou. Okay, Caillou. Close your eyes and count to ten. One, two, three, four... Caillou opened his fingers a little. He wanted to see where everyone was hiding. No peeking, Caillou. Sorry. I just wanted to see where they were going. I know, but if we peek, it spoils the game. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! Okay, we're coming. Ready or not. Daddy, I think I saw someone behind that tree. I found you. <laughs> well done, Caillou. Have you found Leo and Clementine yet? No, not yet. Well, let's keep looking. I'm sure they're close by. Caillou thought he could see something moving behind a park bench. I found you! Aw, you found us. After all this hiding and seeking, you must be hungry. I think we should go and have our picnic. Caillou was sitting on the picnic blanket enjoying his picnic. Here you go, Caillou. Wow! Look how big it is! I love watermelon! Oh, no! Oops, don't worry, Rosie. I'll get you another juice box. Daddy looked in the picnic basket for another juice box, but they were all gone. Oh, no. There's none left. It's okay, Rosie. You can share mine. What a good brother you are, Caillou. Oh, no! Ants! They're on me! They're on me! Me, too! It's okay, Caillou. They're just after Rosie's spilled juice. Look. Let's move to another spot. We don't want ants in our sandwiches. Look, Rosie. Your juice wasn't wasted. 
Now it's a yummy treat for the ants. Caillou thought that the ants would be good at playing hide and seek, especially if they were looking for yummy treats. Caillou was chasing Leo round the jungle gym. They were pirates, and Leo had stolen his ship. Caillou was determined to get it back. <laughs> Arr! You can run, but you can't hide! It was show and tell at school. Caillou was excited, but nervous to speak in front of his class. Okay, Caillou, ready when you are. What have you got to show us today? <laughs> this rope was my grandpa's. He gave it to me for my birthday. <sighs> he loves to fish. At weekends, he takes me with him and we catch all kinds. <gasps> Careful, Caillou. Don't go overboard. If you want to catch a fish, you need three things. A rod, some bait, and a strong knot. <laughs> and some patience. What's that? <laughs> it's waiting even when you don't want to. Now, what you want to do is have a strong knot so that the bait doesn't fall away or get bitten off by the fish you're trying to catch. All we need to do now is wait. Once Caillou had thought back to those fun weekends, he stopped feeling so scared. He taught me how to fish, how to put a worm on the line, even how to steer the boat. And best of all, he showed me how to tie this cool knot. <gasps> See, you pass the end over itself like this. Then under and around the standing end, like this. It's called a figure eight. Real sailors use it for all kinds of things. That was excellent, Caillou. I think we all learned something. That was awesome. Thanks. At recess, I'll show you how to... Caillou? Listen up. I want to go outside and show Leo my figure eight. Well, you need to be patient. You might learn something new. My daddy took me sailing this summer. He bought me this model sailing boat so that I can always remember. <gasps> if you want to go slow, you need to pull the sail out like this. And when you want to go really, really fast, you need the wind to hit the sail right here. One day, I'm going to sail around the whole world. That was just excellent, class. See, Caillou? There's always something new to learn, and anyone can be a great teacher. Now, recess! All the kids were out playing in the sunshine. Mrs. Martin looked around, smiling. As she looked, she spotted Caillou and Jessie in a shaded corner by the jungle gym. A storm's coming, Jessie! We need to get out of here! We need to move fast! Push that sail out, Caillou! Mrs. Martin had no doubt about what game they were playing as Caillou and Jessie sailed their model boat through the air.